Let me stop, y'all. That was my new whistling songs. What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Sherry, and I'm back today with another seafood ball mukbang. <laughs> you guys, it's been so long since I did a seafood ball, and I am ready. I don't even know if the still is playing today, but I got my shirt on. I'm my jersey. All right. So how's everybody doing? It's so good to see y'all again. Well, to be in front of you all again. And I hope y'all glad to see me again. Anywho, yes, I got a seafood ball for y'all today. And guess what? Got some crab legs. I got gypped, but I got some crab legs, y'all. And listen, everything up here that y'all see, I made it myself. No takeout, no carry out, no order in. I've been in that kitchen slaving all day, but you know what, guys? It's going to be worth it. I'm hungry. I'm starving, actually, because I haven't had anything. And um, I'm going to say my prayers, and then I'll let you all know what's on the menu for today. <laughs> it's like, I can't even hardly whistle. Let me stop. But that's, that's my little theme song, I guess. Heavenly Father, thank you for this food that I'm about to receive. May it be nourishment for my body. Bless the hands that prepared it. Bless the hands that served it. And bless the hands that has provided it. And your son, Jesus, is precious and holy. Name, spirit, grace, and mercy, I pray. Amen and amen again. Y'all, I had this house hot today. Had the oven on. I did my crab legs in the oven. So let me tell you guys what's on the menu. I got some sausage. I think that's the Hearshire's Farm beef kielbasa. I got some boiled eggs. I got some white potatoes. I didn't have any red potatoes. I got some corn on the cob, mini corn on the cob. I already told you I got the crab legs, y'all. It's some shrimp hiding up under these crab legs. I got a few tiger shrimp and some jumbo shrimp. Uh-huh. There you go. Can y'all see it? Can, can y'all see it? Let me move this little baby, this little Lona right here. I'm going to turn him up in a minute. And you guys may not be able to see it, but behind all of that, hiding behind all of that is some muscles. That's right. Oh, that ain't it. That's not it, y'all. I did it up today. Your girl did it up. I'm telling you, I did it today. Y'all, I, I got about three meals in one. <laughs> Over here, I got some cucumbers. Why do I have cucumbers? Because I wanted some. You know why? Because I got some of that rice. Y'all can't see that. Got some rice, y'all. Got some of that rice I had the other day over here. Yep. Cucumbers, rice, and sausage. Remember that video, y'all? Yep, I got that. I got my muscles. I got... And guess what? Y'all know I got to have that B-Love sauce, man. Got to have that B-Love sauce. So I made some B-Love sauce to this. Everything is nice and fresh, you guys. I got some buffalo wild wings, salt and vinegar. Seasoning for my cucumbers. And I got some lemon juice for whatever I want to put it on. Usually I like it on the muscles. But yes, I have said my grace, y'all. And I am about to get it in. I'm hot. I'm sweaty. I'm sweaty. Oh, and I forgot to tell y'all. And to drink pink lemonade water. That's it. <sighs> yes, you all. You guys, I, like I said, I am starving. I don't even know where to begin. I'm just hungry. Let's start with this little bit of crab leg here. Oh, mmm. Guys, I um I did my crab legs in the oven. Almost left them in there too long. But um yeah, I put them in the oven today. I had um I was looking at um what's his name? Oh, TY. I was looking at T.Y. and he, was, he gave his little instructions on how to do them in the oven because I hadn't done them in the oven before. But um, I followed his instructions a little bit, but I basically, um, that broke. I basically um, spread a little olive oil on them 
a little olive oil, a little Old Bay. Y'all, I think I, I cut the oven off, but I put them back in there to keep them warm while I was finishing up my other stuff. And I probably shouldn't have done it. But um, brush them with a little olive oil and some Old Bay seasoning. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so hungry. And so, woo! Ooh, forgive me, so rude. I didn't even give you guys the first bite. Please forgive me, but I'm gonna make it worth your while, okay? I'm gonna make it worth the wait. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me show y'all what I'm about to give y'all. What I'm about to do for y'all. Y'all see that? Wait, let me get down. Get down into all those seasonings. Hold on. My phone. Excuse me, y'all, because I'm not going to edit that out. <laughs> My guys, here you go. Here you go. Y'all take the first bite bite. That little crab leg was just a teaser. My camera's acting up again. Y'all got it? Mmm. So good. So how are you guys doing today? Mm. <clears throat> I hope everybody's doing well. I'm doing okay. Been doing a lot of cooking today. Woo. This sauce. <clears throat> Y'all, y'all gonna see me coughing a lot because I'm not editing anything out. And this sauce is spicy. I'm already sweating. I told y'all I've been in this house cooking. I got some oxtails in the crock pot. Yep, sure do. Got my little seafood boil on deck. Y'all want some mussels? Y'all like muscles? Look at all that on yawn hanging down. There y'all. That looks so good, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I'm about to devour this. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. I am hungry, guys. I would not be doing a lot of talking today. I know y'all say she always said it. Oh, I'm let y'all have the first bite of the potato, too. This sauce is so chunky, y'all. I love it with all the onions in there. Look at there. Drip, 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 drip. Mm. Lord, mm, I probably shouldn't have worn my jersey. But yes, guys. Oh, I was so hungry. Mm. I'm gonna let y'all have a piece of everything I eat. Got to bite this sausage. I know it looks good, y'all. It looks good. It is good. Um. Okay, I'm gonna do the sausage, cucumber, and rice. If my mouth can hold it. Mm. That's good, y'all. I'm over here trying to get my rice. This rice is acting crazy. 
dip it in that be love sauce y'all just some rice y'all can have some Mm -hmm. mm. <coughs> <coughs> yeah. It is so good. Y'all know how long I've been waiting on this seafood boil. <coughs> mm. Yeah, they kind of crispy. <laughs> they already small. But they turn out good um, in the oven. Like I said, I had um, cut the oven off, but I put my crab legs. I took them out, but I put them back in while I was um, doing my shrimp. Because, you know, the shrimp doesn't, doesn't take long. But I probably should have just... Um, I cooked them for about 30 minutes. Oh, excuse me. On 400 degrees. In a 400 degree oven. And um, y'all forgive my camera. It's a piece of meat in there. Right, it's a piece of meat in there. Yep, y'all know we don't leave no meat behind. His lips can say. The struggle is real. Come on, come on. Y'all see how crispy it sound? It cracked right on the, oh, God. Doing all that. Ha, <laughs> ha, for that little piece of meat. Let's see what we got going on here. Oh, in the world. Oh, I was about to say, look at that. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. I think my camera be trying to focus when I come close to it. Oh, this sauce is hot. It's, it's hot. Y'all, mm. seafood boil. Mm. Mm. That potato is good. Try a piece of corn. I wanted some fresh corn. I went to the store this morning, but the grocery store didn't have any fresh corn. So I ended up getting um some frozen corn. Put a little lemon juice in there. Mm. I didn't give y'all any corn yet. That camera gonna act foolish. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. Y'all. This is messy today, but you know what? I don't even care. Y'all just enjoy it with me, because it's so good. 
It's so good. Sorry, not sorry. It's so messy. Not sorry. Oh, so chunky. It's so chunky, y'all. I can just pick up all of that onion and ginger and spices and garlic in that mussel shell. The butter. Getting it out. This jersey. Y'all, is that camera acting up again? Sonia, fell on my shirt. So it ain't dirty. It's not dirty. Y'all, ain't full yet. I know that's what y'all thought I was getting ready to say. Let me try one of these eggs. Y'all put eggs on y'all seafood boil. Gotta get now. I don't put lemon juice on my egg. Uh-uh. Not with that yolk. Mm-mm. I don't think that'll mix well, but oh. I can y'all see egg yet. Look at that. Mm. <laughs> That's good. What's going on with these crabfish, y'all? Like I said, I did the crab legs in the oven for about 30 minutes. Covered them in some um, Reynolds wrap and a pan. Put a little bit of water at the bottom. Some Old Bay. Olive oil spread on them and bake them. And then uh, Thank you for y'all. It's good, y'all. Can y'all hear me? Hmm. Can y'all hear what I'm telling y'all? That little end of the knuckle. Oh, excuse me. About to break my teeth, y'all. And I got a cracker. <laughs> but. It don't make no sense how bad I'm sweating, guys. I apologize. I've been a sweater all my life. Dropping food. Mm. This little end down here got some meat in it, but it's so raggedy. Mm. I don't know how we do. We are professionals. Y'all talking about slaving today? I told my husband, I don't see how people spend all that time in the kitchen cooking all day, cooking all that food and stuff. But I cooked him some breakfast. Y'all, I'm telling you, I've been doing it today now. My kitchen knows me today. Cooked him breakfast. I um prepped my... um. Wait a minute, y'all. What happened to my little... I was washing my face, wiping my sweat. Oh, I see when I do too much moving, I see my camera kind of tries to catch it and focus. I'm, I'm recording on my laptop, y'all. Because um, right now, it's just more convenient for me. So, But yeah, you guys, this meal, this bowl, mm. And that B-Love sauce. 
Oh, I made the beloved sauce. I meant to tell y'all. I don't I didn't order the mile packet in time, and you know it sold out. But one thing about it, I do know how to make it at home. They say the pack tastes. Tastes nothing like the homemade, but it's still good. I got crabs flying everywhere. Y'all know how it is. Can y'all see my little edges? Who saw? Y'all can. It's okay. We all family. <laughs> oh. And you guys, oh my God, I was so hungry. I didn't even tell you guys. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, welcome to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you like the video. Comment, leave me a comment below. Share this video if you think it's interesting and other people want to see it. I really would appreciate it. So all my returning subscribers i love you guys we are family i appreciate you so so much just taking the time out of your busy schedules to tune in to my eating show and I know I tell you guys I'm going to start working on my topics. Really, I am because um, I want the discussions to be, um, you know, I want to make sure I have all of my stuff together where I'm not just talking off the top of my head. I want to actually have it put well put together. Y'all let me know if that camera is bothering you all so too much. I don't know when I go back and watch the video. But I don't edit on my laptop. But on my phone I do. And I will um I've been looking into some editing apps and stuff for the Chromebook, but um I haven't gotten anything yet. And um I can go back to using my phone to record. There's some meat in there, y'all. Come on, come on, come on. Really, really. Come on. It's not really stuck to the shell, but it's in there. But I got you. As much as the crab legs cost that fell on my leg, y'all. Yep. I got these crab legs. Oh, they made me so mad. I pay. I forgot how much I paid for them, but it wasn't that many in there. I shell don't want to pray. Oh, almost, y'all. Almost. But yes. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel. If you've been before again, welcome back. It's Sunday, y'all. NFL Sunday. Y'all watching the games? Who y'all favorite team? Who y'all? Who y'all rooting for? Y'all, yeah, it did stick. Next time, I won't leave them in the oven. I'll just take them out. Or it did stick to the shell a little bit. That one over here. Oh, and let me turn my plate off, cause. My food is already hot, but mm. it's so good and sweet, y'all. Snow crab legs, snow crab legs. I'm still waiting to do. Um, I got some wet wipes, y'all. Get oh, gotta have some wet wipes. Um, with this seafood boil and this sauce and stuff, cause it just be it's green buttery. I know my lips shining. With all that butter. <laughs> they feel shiny anyway. Ooh. Now that's good. I didn't put the whole flavor pack in. 
because I had drank some of my water out of the water bottle. And that's why it looks so light. Yeah, my when I move, moving too fast. <laughs> I gotta move in slow motion. Um, it's good though. It's not real strong. It's it's good. It's perfect, y'all. I'm gonna get some more of this corn. Oh yeah, y'all team playing today? Is your team winning? This corn is good and sweet. I think it's um green giant, but it's good, y'all. Oh, yeah. Mm. Y'all. I cooked that corn just right. I sure did. I told y'all I cooked everything. And it doesn't really take long because, like, the crab legs, you know, they really don't take long. I probably could have done got away with 20 minutes. But um, it didn't take, it's just the prepping and um, trying to clean up as I go and stuff. That's basically what took so long. But the mushrooms only take a few minutes to boil because um, they're pre-cooked. The potatoes and corn took about 30 minutes. Um, the crab legs, about 30 minutes. The eggs, you know, they don't take long. I actually had the sausage left over from um, a previous video. I think it was the sausage rice. Yeah, the sausage rice and cucumber video. I had it in the refrigerator. It's still good. Mm. Y'all want to know what I be doing when I do this? it be a little piece left. That little piece right there. <laughs> I don't leave nothing behind. It's just greedy. I see it. I see it. I'm getting it. Y'all know I can't move too much because this camera. Mm. Mm. Let me try some more of this rice one more time. I ain't gonna eat too much because I already got a potato. I'm gonna eat. I'm eating half a potato. And this rice. That's enough carbs for the day. Excuse me, I'm trying to move in slow motion. I'm gonna leave all that up there. Mm. For real. Y'all gotta try it. But the key, the key is um the be love sauce or any kind of sauce you want to make. The Dame Dash sauce, flavors by Dame Dash. Y'all don't forget to check out his channel because he has a butter sauce too. And um, I don't know. A lot of people that um, have eating shows on YouTube make their own sauce. But that cucumber rice and sausage with some sauce. And it's up this piece, y'all, and that's it for that. But yeah, you guys, thank you so much. Yep. 
I'm about to shut it down. Mm. But before I go, I just wanted to share something with you guys. Um, I recorded on, I went live on Facebook earlier today because it was something on my heart and on my chest that I wanted to get off. Y'all, I know I got a lot of food left, but trust me, I'm going to share it because <laughs> I'm full. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I just wanted to leave you all with this right here. Like I said on my live this morning, I just woke up with um, grief on my mind. Not me so much grieving, but being around the holidays, you know, a lot of times this is a really, really hard time of year for people who have lost loved ones to death or maybe have um, children or family members that's incarcerated or, um, excuse me, y'all, <coughs> children out there in the streets just doing any and everything, spouses that's out there in the street doing any and everything, just living their lives. Um, this time of year just gets kind of rough and a lot of people start grieving because of the loss of loved ones because it's around the holiday time. And, you know, holidays are when... Usually when you're, um, you know, with family and, and with loved ones and everything. So when people have lost loved ones, they kind of get through a, a period, a season of uh, this, this type of season right here where the holidays are around and they just start missing them so much, you know, and just some of them are just so grief stricken again. Well, I wanted to just encourage you, if you are one of those people who has lost a loved one or, you know, just going through thinking about somebody that's not there, that may not be there for the holidays, you don't know where they at, or, you know, like I said, you've just, um, they're no longer here. I just want you to know that um, don't suffer alone and don't suffer in silence. There's someone out here who knows what you're going through. And some people that know, if you know of somebody that's going through, you know somebody that's grief stricken, just keep encouraging them, you guys. Just tell them, you know, just keep their loved ones' memories alive. Pray for those that are out there and can't, they can't get, they're still here on earth, but, you know, you can't get to them, you can't reach them, or, you know, you're just worried about them, stressed out, sick about them, your, you know, loved ones being out here. Um, but just keep them in prayer. Keep them in prayer. God can bring them back in. He sure can. He can bring them back in. But yeah, if you know somebody, um, a neighbor, an elderly person, um, even elderly people who may not have anywhere to go for the holidays, you know, reach out to them. If you know people, we have had so many people that I know that have lost loved ones just this year, y'all. So this will be like the first holiday without their loved ones. And it can get rough, I know. So I just want to let you know, if you're watching and you want to reach out to me, um, I'm here for you. If you just want to talk, you know, if you just want to laugh, just get something off of your mind, just hit me up and just, you know, comment. Let me know. Send me a message. Um, my Instagram is When Life Bites Too. Um, you can hit me up on Instagram. Facebook is um, Sherry Fryson, F-R-I-E-S-O-N. Hit me up on Facebook. You guys comment on my videos. I try to get to my comments. But yeah, I just want to let you know, if you are one of those who may be going through, maybe grief stricken with the holidays coming around, it really hits hard every year. Some people go through it every year. Some people just dread for the holiday season to come in, especially like, you know, when it first comes in. But if you got that support system, guys, um, if you're part of a support system, don't lack. Be genuine. Um, call them. Send them a text. Let them know you're just a phone call away. Go by visit face to face. Just keep a check on people because also around this time of year, a lot of people get depressed and sad and commit suicide. You know, because, oh, they're already going through some stuff and, you know, now the holidays are coming up and people are so cheerful and, 
you know, and everything, but people are suffering in silence. So it's a lot of suicides that happen around this time of year. I'm just, y'all, we got to check on each other. We really do. We really got to do better. We got to start checking on each other. And uh, if you already do that, kudos to you. Um, but again, I just wanted to say, if you're going through this holiday season and you're feeling kind of down and out, I'm not going to tell you don't feel that way because you're human. But what I will tell you is to reach out, reach out. It's somebody out there that's, that's going to be genuine and just going to be there for you. And if you know of somebody that's going through and they haven't reached out, you take the initiative to reach out. So this is a call, call to action, you guys, to just this holiday season for your girl, for Sherry, do it for me. Um, reach out to somebody that you know has lost a loved one recently or has lost a loved one. And, you know, this time of year is always really hard for them. Reach out to them and just you just don't know, guys. How much just a phone call? Hello, are you on my mind? I was thinking about you. you. Ain't got to tell them. Well, I was thinking about you because I know it's that time of year, and I know you love when you get you get all sad and stuff. You know, don't please if you're that type of person. Just you know, please, just please have a little empathy and and you know, just let them know. Just be like, I was just thinking about you. You know, hey. You know, everything, everything going all right, everything good, you know, just reach out and just let them know that you are thinking about them. That would take people a long, long way, you guys. I know it will. My mom was so sick last year for the holidays. I mean, we just didn't know. She was so sick, but thank God she is doing so good, y'all. She is doing well. She is so ready for Thanksgiving to do all her cooking and stuff. She couldn't eat last year. It was just... Y'all, God is so awesome. I'm telling you, he is so awesome. And for me to have my mom be able to spend another holiday with my mom, that's a blessing to me. But I know it's some people that's not going to have that chance to be with loved ones because they've lost them or their loved ones are just lost. So just an encouraging word. Just keep keep the faith. It, 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 it's all in due time. Grieve, but get out there and socialize and mingle you know, don't just sit around and wallow in your grief. You know, do it. Do what you got to do, but pick yourself up. And even if you are going through something and you know of somebody else, reach out to them. You already know they know what you're going through. You know what they're going through. So y'all know you're just going to click. Y'all just going to lift each other up. But yeah, guys, I appreciate you all for joining me so much. I'm going to eat a little bit more food and then I'm going to get ready to get up out of here because this video is just lingering on and on. But I did want to get that off my chest. Reach out to those that you know are having a hard time during the holidays, missing loved ones, people that you know don't have family, maybe lonely. Reach out to them this holiday season. We always do that. And not just during the holiday season, you guys. We need to start doing this in every season, in and out of season. I love you guys so much. I'm going to take another bite of this egg. Yes, I'm going to finish this boiled egg. Thank you all for joining, joining me for my seafood boil. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all, ain't nothing like it. Mm. So, guys, don't forget, if this is your first time watching and you've made it this far, thank you. Thank you. Subscribe to the channel. You guys. Comment down below. Just give me some conversation, you guys. I love conversating with you guys. Comment on this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. And give it a thumbs down if you didn't. It's your choice. But um, And share this video. Share it with your family and your friends. You guys are so, so marvelous. So, so wonderful. Again, I thank you all for joining me for another video. I'll see you, all, you guys soon with another video. Love, peace. And when life bites... Bite back. How do you bite back? By encouraging people, by helping others, by facing your fears head on, just by living, just by loving, and just by laughing. You guys, I love you. You're great. Thank you again and have an awesome, awesome evening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> My camera was messing up.